Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watch One, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're looking at the Roger Dubuis Easy Diver 43mm in alternately brushed and polished stainless steel. This is a series of watches that I really like. While I have tremendous respect for Roger Dubuis, the more recent 46mm examples of the brand's sports watches have been just a little bit beyond my wrist. So the original sports activity watch series using the original 43mm 2004 case is a true treat to encounter. Now you can see on my wrist this large, aggressive, yet finely finished Geneva Seal sports watch is really a perfect fit, assuming you like the big watch look. Now my wrist is 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters, but you can see that at the periphery, my wrist actually extends beyond the termination of the lugs, and the strap actually splays out on both sides to curve around my wrist, so the fit is excellent. Roger Dupuy did a good job of taking a large watch and making it fit a smaller wrist. So if you love the look of the Roger Dupuy Easy Divers of the Chrono XLs, but you find the 46 is maybe just a little bit overwhelming, the 43 is the one to try. And let me assure you, there's no compromise in quality. Everything that touches the wrist is outstanding. I've often spoken of the quality of Roger Dubuis' straps and clasps, and you can see on the 43, it gives up nothing to the larger models. The strap in natural vulcanized rubber features pores on the bottom to allow a little bit of moisture to escape and to avoid suffocating the wrist in hot weather. Likewise, the clasp featuring twin triggers and a single deployant exhibits beautiful finish. On the outside, gorgeous detailing, high polish throughout, and even on the inside, you can see the attention to detail with the recurring RD motif throughout the interior of the clasp. Nothing on this watch, even the interior of the clasp itself, is left unfinished. The artistic vision is comprehensive. Now there's a lot going on visually with the watch, but fundamentally it reads as all of a piece. The strap in natural rubber flows into the triple link lugs. Now this is done to precisely and firmly anchor the strap. This being an active lifestyle watch, Roger Dubuis wanted to assure beyond a shadow of a doubt that there wouldn't be any undue play or likelihood of a broad spring bar flexing or fracturing in the middle so that third lug provides extra security. Likewise, the straps are retained by screws the old-fashioned way. It's more expensive to make and for your jeweler, it may be a little bit more cumbersome to change the strap, but the result is absolute peace of mind. That is anchored on there. This is built like a sports watch, but it's finished like a high horology dress watch. Small inserts of carbon fiber on the hoods of the linking pieces that transition from the lugs to the strap and vice versa are recapitulated on the flanks of the lugs. Let me see if I can show you that. But there are little carbon fiber insets on both sides of the lugs to continue that theme. So on the hoods of the lugs, on the transfer from the strap to the case, and on the flanks of the lugs to recapitulate that pattern. There's a lot of, I would say, material mixing going on. You've got rubber, you've got carbon fiber, you've got stainless steel, and then the bezel itself is a little bit deceptive because while it appears to be polished stainless steel, it is actually white gold. So an exceptional little flourish. This is the kind of thing that connoisseurs of high-end watches love because you know it's there, it's beautiful, and it's discreet. That's the mark of true luxury, something that you can enjoy, a secret between you and your watch. The white gold bezel, beautifully built, also useful as a calibration, a calibration scale that can be aligned with the minute hand in dive watch fashion. Now I've aligned the 60 with the minute hand, and I can time intervals from 0 to 60 minutes creating sort of a makeshift impromptu analog chronograph that I can use for timing anything from food that's cooking to intervals between meetings or whatever may come to mind. Time before a flight while you're at the airport, it's got utility that extends far beyond the briny depths. Although this is a dive watch in every sense, from the unidirectional rotating bezel to the exceptional water resistance rating, which is 300 meters or just shy of 1,000 feet, very much an active lifestyle watch, not just an image, but in substance. It's exceptionally tough. It's essentially good for whatever you are, as long as you're not going extreme deep sea diving in a manner that might require a helium escape valve. And let's face it, who does? The Roger Dubuis is as tough as any submariner and effectively any super ocean or sea master that you're ever likely to need. The dial is also of exceptional quality, featuring applied 
fully lumed white gold indices. Now, there are actually two types of luminova at play here. The semi-exotic red variant that's rarely seen is used to add contrast on the hands, the hours and the minutes. And then the indices themselves employ the traditional sort of key lime flavored luminova. So visible during the daytime, also exceptionally visible in low light. Although it does have some elements of a dress watch, it's just as functional as a sports watch. Turning the watch over, you can see the beautiful contrast of the finish on the case, alternately polished and grained with a linear brushed pattern. You can see the inset carbon fiber elements, the transition from rubber to carbon fiber. There's a lot going on visually, but it's not overload. This is a Baroque dive watch, and every element lives up to that billing, including the caliber of the movement, which in this case is caliber RD14. Roger Dubuis in-house movement, automatic winding. This is a Geneva seal caliber, as all Roger Dubuis have been since the origin of the company in 1995. So while the look of the watch says diving, the finish of the watch says high horology, Geneva's finest. And the bottom line is all of the classical elements are here. The anglage on the Roger Dubuis in-house calibers is what I like to call fat anglage, which means that the radius of each camphor is exceptionally broad, round, and mirror finished. So a lot of times the gleam, that mirror-like radiance that you need to see with a loop on other watches featuring Geneva Seal Standard Finish can be seen with the naked eye on a Roger Dubuis. Likewise, black polish on the screw heads as well as the stud holder on the balance as well as the swan's neck regulator and its retention spring and the cover for the bearing on the winding rotor. All of this is in evidence and of exceptional quality. It gives up nothing to the Vacherons or the FP Journes of Geneva. But what it does feature, in addition to the traditional finishing elements and traditional architecture elements like separate cocks for the escapement and fourth wheels, it also features modern technology, including unidirectional winding for high efficiency winding, including ceramic rotor bearings for the winding rotor itself, unlubricated. They promise improved efficiency, but also reduced long-term maintenance needs. And because this is a contemporary movement architecture, and this is a dive watch after all, you may want to synchronize it to a reference timer or a dive clock, the movement does hack. When you pull the crown, it will stop the balance. And although the swan's neck regulator is beautiful in a traditional sense, it also anchors the index of the balance and prevents it from being displaced by shock, altering the timing of the watch during active diving, jogging, beach activities, whatever you may do with the watch, however unlikely in a timepiece of this caliber. Remember, it's that capability that's there if you need it. Like a Ferrari, you may never drive 200 miles an hour, and you may never play, you know, Marco Polo wearing an extreme high horology dive watch, but Roger Dubuis gives you the option. That's the wonderful thing. More than you expect and more than you need. In terms of beauty, in terms of engineering, in terms of style and design, this is the Roger Dubuis Easy Diver 43 millimeters in stainless steel, in-house caliber RD14 movement. It's one heck of a dive watch. It's one heck of a sports watch, but it is nevertheless an example of Geneva's finest, and you can see it on our website, Watch You Want.